Three, two, one. Hey there, and welcome back to another episode of This Guy's Thoughts. So like I always, appreciate you swinging by and watching another beer review. Uh, tonight's episode features one out of a platform, a beer company. Uh, one I'm pretty excited to uh, try out. This here is the uh, Pink Martian. It is a slushy sour. Uh, if you've followed these guys or uh, remember some of my past reviews, we have the uh, Blue Martian. Uh, last uh, fall, which was a blueberry uh, slushy, and that came in at uh, about nine uh, nine point one percent alcohol by volume. Next was the uh, Red Martian, uh, last uh, late last year, which came in at uh, like five point six percent alcohol by volume, and that Red Martian was kind of like a fruit punch. It had a uh, let's see, raspberry, pineapple, and orange, but more of a like a fruit punch um, type of slushy sour. And this here is the uh, Pink Martian, and it is a slushy style mango guava sour, uh, brewed with natural flavors. It also uh, actually lists the adjuncts right here on the back. Lactose, pink guava puree, Alfonso mango puree, uh, crystal hops, American L yeast, uh, grains, pilsner, pell wheat, um, let's see, carafoam, acidulated, and melanoidin are the uh, grains in this. So uh, this here has a lot going on. Uh, this just came out, uh, just came out available uh, this, actually uh, this week in my area. Uh, it is 8.5% uh, alcohol by volume and uh, eight IBU. Uh, this was canned on, I believe it was 214. So this is uh, less than two weeks old, um, so. Like I said, uh, this is something I've been looking forward to. Uh, this, like I said, this is the third Martian, uh, Martian titled uh, slushy sour release from uh, Platform Beer Company up in uh, the Cleveland, Ohio area. And let's go ahead and uh, crack it open. As far as that artwork, uh, I'm gonna give it about four and a half out of five. I do like that they do list the IBU and the uh, ABV and all the adjuncts and uh, ingredients in here. So that's uh, nice to know. Uh, but we'll go ahead and crack this open and uh, see what it is all about. Okay, I, um, I thought it'd be a little bit more pink uh, than it is. I can tell you right now, um, I'm already smelling. Um, the guava is already in the air. It's, it's, it's already circulating around. Uh, this here, um, what I say it was eight and a half percent alcohol by volume. So this here, I thought it would be a little bit more pink than what it is. Um, it definitely has that uh, pink, juicy um, guava color to it, guava juice type of color to it. I wanted to get the rest of this in the glass here, but that may not be happening. So we'll go ahead and set this up here. Let's see here. Mango, guava, lactose. Let's see what we can pick up in here. I already can tell you the guava is all around here already. Uh, anyhow, very pretty color. Uh, head head uh, wiped out fairly quickly. Oh my god. Yeah, the guava, mango, it's there. Just it tastes like it smells like a juice. Like like all like the other two, it smells like a juice. Almost like a uh, like a tart lemonade is, is kind of what it uh, it smells like. Very tart pink lemonade. Yeah, just uh, that's pretty much it um, on the nose. Not offering a whole lot other than the guavo, guavo, uh, guava mango, um, and a little bit of a pink lemonade vibe going on in this thing. So we'll go ahead and get a drink on it. All right, I could down that whole thing. I paid $14.99 for the four pack, 16 ounce cans. Medium, um, just a medium bodied mouth fill. Nice, crisp, refreshing uh, finish to it. The mango and the guava 
they go together really, really well. Again, this is a 5.6% uh, alcohol beer. I did not expect it to uh, taste any alcohol at all. There is no traces of alcohol. You would think this is just um, a juice. If somebody just poured you poured this in a glass and gave it to you. I'll tell you anything about it? Again, just like the other two, these slushy sours, they just taste they're juicy beers. So it's got that really nice, that guava, that like soury tartiness of the guava. That just guava taste is like right here. Uh, the mango, it's there, um, but most of the guava is the uh, dominant uh, flavor in this beer, which is fine with me. It's totally, totally unusual um, tasting beer. Now it seems like the Blue Martian and the Red Martian were a little uh, bit of a heavier mouthfeel than what this is. This drinks more like a lighter juice. Um, but it is still fantastic. Um, I believe I scored both the Red Martian and the Blue Martian um, five out of five. Um, this right here, excuse me, it's another home run. Um, I'm gonna probably punch this one in at about a, uh, a 4.95 um, out of five. Maybe not quite as good as the red and the blue, um, but this is still a fantastic beer. Um, if you have a chance to pick this up, I highly encourage you to do so. Didn't really talk about the artwork, but you got like the slushy UFO there flying over the desert here. Um, definitely pretty cool. You got the earth here, so this must be like on Mars or something. I don't know. You got the little astronaut there. So uh, definitely pretty good artwork. Great tasting beer. All Everything about it is just fantastic. Um, the vanilla, don't really pick up on. The lactose, just the sweetness is there. Just the sweet juiciness is there. So like I said, if you've had this before, let me know what you think about it. I highly recommend you trying to pick this up uh, before it is no longer available. Anyhow, like, subscribe, comment, hit that notification bell. That's my thoughts.